everybody, it's your girl Fox. Welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans and another weekly vlog. I'm gonna try to remember to say little intros like this. I'm gonna try. It's Wednesday night. My anxiety is like a 12 on a scale of 10. Um, yeah. I couldn't even like finish my stretching routine tonight because I just like couldn't fucking focus because I was so anxious about like, I have to do stuff, I have to do stuff after this, and like, it's just a mess. So I did half of it, the other half tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I actually am currently like in bed with my little bed laptop setup. I will show you what I got here, hold on. So here's my setup. I got my computer up, I'm just editing some pictures. Last 10 pictures from the trip, and then that will all be done. Got Layla Grace. I'm right here keeping the company with her friend Sebastian. That's just right there. Yeah, that's your friend Sebastian from Thoughts of Dog. And I'm gonna just watch like a YouTube video or two and just kind of like unwind this way and then get ready for bed. And yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. My anxiety is just really not good right now and I just gotta try to work through it. So just checking in, first day, kicking off the vlog. You're so cute. We went to the vet tonight. She got her toes trimmed. She was a very, very good girl. So I'm gonna, and I did my PM skincare routine. Holy fuck, it takes a long time. Why do bodies require so much maintenance? Can we talk about that? Like, why can't I just come to bed and just fall into bed and like have good teeth and good skin the next morning? Why do I have to like brush and floss and then like, wash my face now i got these lashes and i have to wash my lashes like the struggle the struggle is so very real so anyway yeah i uh i didn't even edit my plan with me yet from monday that i filmed on monday i didn't even edit it yet normally that's supposed to be up on monday i just like i don't know where my days are going i think i'm gonna have to throw in a 168 project like one of these days because I don't know what's going on with my life. <laughs> I really don't. So anyway, I'm gonna just wind down here, watch some YouTube and edit some pictures and get ready to fall asleep. It's Thursday night. I had the craziest, most batshit, ridiculous best day at work. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. I had planned to come home and do my 30 minute fitness and there was an accident on the way home. So I did a 10 minute high intensity interval training, Britney Spears Peloton cardio class. I'm sweating my balls off. And now Lakin's uh, silent co-working is beginning. Well, it's supposed to be beginning any minute now. It says it's waiting for host. Um, but I am gonna do that and I'm going to work on my fitness journal that I keep putting off because I look forward to this fucking silent co-working session every month and I wish that she would do it like every week because it's really, I don't know, it just works for me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see if husband can get me some wine. And then I have another 20 minutes of workout to do after this and I might just like go for a walk, I don't know. <laughs> Your girl is tired and I'm just trying to get by one day at a time. That's all I can do. <sighs> So in an attempt to recreate that, we are at our virtual um, coffee shop and holding each other accountable to sitting here and getting something done over the next 30, 60, 90 minutes, however long you want to stay on. I will be for here for 90 minutes, but if you need to hop off early, you can hop off early, but we are um, just holding each other accountable. So let us know in the chat what you're going to be working on while we are hanging out together. I will check in at 7.30 and then at 8 as well. Hey everybody, it's Saturday morning, headed to work. I, it's been a rough <laughs> situation. <laughs> last night was a rough night. The work has been rough the last few days. So uh, I haven't been vlogging much because everything's been kind of chaotic. So I am headed into work. Um, tonight is our prank run at 8.30. So I will try to vlog a little bit from there. I have dinner plans, like something to make for dinner beforehand. So hopefully I actually fucking stick to that. And I'm just tired. I am really tired and worn out. So, uh, update also the CDC said you no longer have to wear masks indoors. Pennsylvania updated the next day, so it was like Thursday and Friday, saying they agree with the CDC's decision. And I'm 
I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. So at work, we are still going to be requiring masks for, you know, patients and patients, customers and um, staff. But yeah, I just think this is going to be a bit messy. So just more things to add to my anxiety, but we'll get through this day. I can do this. Hey, buddy. Are you hungry? Do you want your food? Do you want me to fill it up? You're so cute. I get your food right now, okay? I get you your food. What you doing? What you doing, buddy? You gotta move so I can feed you. I can't open the window when you're sitting right there, sweet pea. <laughs> you're so cute, though. I'm gonna get your walnuts, but you gotta go, okay? I know your friend's here. I saw the black squirrel today. Huh. We haven't seen him in a couple weeks. Huh. You're so cute. All right, I'm gonna get your walnuts. You ready for them? You ready for the walnuts? Okay. Are you hungry? I think you are. You're so cute. I love you. They can't eat right next to each other. They can eat at the same time, but they have to keep a little distance. They're adorable. These are my little children. Layla Grace and our squirrels. I love them. Look how cute their little hands are. Oh my god. This is the exciting content that you come to my YouTube channel for, I know. Squirrels eating walnuts while the neighbor children scream in the background. Saturday night. Time to run with my friends who I haven't run with. We ran literally the night before lockdown. That was the last time we ran together. And we're running together now. So headed down there. I don't know how many miles. I will find that out when we get there. Uh, we do loops. So we do loops. So there will be options and we'll see. There's a loop that looks really tough, but really interesting. And I'm like voting for that. And I might kind of regret that. So the goal is tonight, anything between five and 18 miles. And then we go from there for distance tomorrow. My goal is to do 28 miles between today and tomorrow morning, tonight, tomorrow morning. So in like a 16 hour period is 28 miles so here we go the run has begun north side Okay, we're on some random <laughs> Pittsburgh staircase. Uh, creepy house. I'm gonna try really hard not to fall. This is <laughs> the banisters out and it's just a hose. Cool. The camber on these stairs, I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna try to do this steady. The camber is terrible. It feels like the stairs are like falling into the wall. I mean, in the wall, into the hill. <sighs> it is not good for those about the vertigo. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna breathe for a second. <sighs> I think those houses are abandoned, pretty sure. So that's 279 out there out there where those cars are we are above that it's muggy as balls and tits out here it's a real bad situation here we go the camper has switched we're now tilting this way instead of this way it's a highly disorienting set of steps to do at night yeah I also just want to point out that whatever my mileage is tonight, my mileage tomorrow is going to be way harder because it's effing steep. Are you sure you will not be doing that? It's about a you made it to the top. Grade, maybe 35 on average. It's about 350, 400 feet. We made it to the top. So there's all of us. Let's take a right. Okay, so I don't know if you can read this sign. It says Television Hill. 
So this is the old, I don't know if it's still, I guess it's still in function. The radio tower or the TV tower, I guess, up here for Channel 11 News. Never seen before here. We are taking a slight detour to try to get a cool overlook shot, which I guess is down here. You can see the city ahead of us. In the distance there down there. I stayed back to take video of shit because that's what I do. I run and I film things. It's a pretty cool run so far. New stuff we've never done before and that's always my favorite thing about running. Okay, trying to stop catch up. Pretty banging party going on over here. <laughs> no! There's a party over there. There's a track up here. That's weird. Okay. So we're in Fine View, one of Pittsburgh's neighborhoods. I think it's the city of Pittsburgh. We'll see if we see a mayor sign out somewhere. The sidewalk is elevated here. We're in the middle of the road. It's, it's nine o'clock at night and who the fuck cares? Whoa, that is a pretty cool overlook here. Yeah. What, where? <gasps> you can, oh my God. This is pretty cool. Look at that. This is the city. There's my favorite building. Right there, the steel building. Yeah. Man, I wish I had my real camera. This is where Dave DeCello goes out and takes pictures of shit. <laughs> that is the telephone tower or whatever that I was talking about for Channel 11. So we are not going up these steps. And Mike is really heartbroken about it. But we are going down. What the fuck was that? This creepy abandoned ish situation into the woods. Cool. You did sign up to do shoot the shit today. We are going over this random overpass because we thought it looks cool. It's not actually part of the route, but we made it part of the route because we appreciate the finer things in life, like overpasses and random areas of the city. Oh. Maple Avenue. And it's got it on both sides. Are we in Troy Hill? There's a restaurant there. That is Perrysville Avenue. Perrysville Avenue. Oh, we're in Perry Hilltop. So that's South is like right there. Is this Perry High School here? Um, Perry High School has the best band. Yeah, it's the McNaughter Special Education Center. Oh. Going back down the other side. This is the Spring Hill mural, which you saw last summer in daylight. And there is the spring for which Spring Hill is named. And this is the old fire department that is now boxing club and of course it wouldn't be Pittsburgh without a random war memorial at an intersection that would be that thing right there heading out on my long run today. I have oh, between 17 and 18 miles, depending on how this goes. I just wanted to share what I pack for a long run. So first of all, two things that are not pictured here. I have sunscreen on already, and I also have, I use a product called Tri Slide, which is like an anti-chafing spray. I really, really recommend it. I will link below if you're a runner or an athlete of any kind. It works really, really well, and it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I thought it was gonna feel like, I don't know, like having a gel or an ointment on or something and it's not that at all so i run with this is my pack here which you've seen me wearing before and you'll see me wearing again today 
It's the Salmon uh, 5 Advanced Skin, I think is what it's called. Um, it's a number of years old at this point. I bought it for my first marathon, which is 2019. Yeah, so it's at least like two years old. But it's got a lot of pockets on it. So this is for the two. It has, these are the two bottles that come with it. They're soft. Um, I always put water in at least one of them. And when it's really hot, I will put usually Gatorade in the other one. Um, longer runs, sometimes I will start with water and then buy Gatorade and change it to Gatorade in the middle because hot Gatorade is not the stuff. And when you're wearing this on your person, it can get warm, especially in the sun. But it is nice to have Gatorade and have those extra electrolytes sometimes. My plan today, I'm bringing some cash um, and I'm just planning, I'm gonna stop at a convenience store or something whenever I start to get thirsty and get a Gatorade there. So, but it has the two pockets for these, one on each side here, then it has other pockets. So it's got this like nice pocket here and then it's got a zip pocket. So this is where I will keep my credit card, my ID, some cash, and then I'm gonna put a mask in a plastic bag. So that way, um, if I do go into a place, I have a mask that I can go in. So that's the, it's got, this goes the whole way around. So you can put shit back here. Like it's got great, great storage. It also has, this is a pouch where you can keep a bladder. It comes with the bladder. I, I don't use it because I think the bladder is like just kind of gross. I feel like it's really hard to clean it. Um, but I can put a Gatorade, like a 28 ounce or 32 ounce Gatorade in the back of this. And so you can put that in the back and it'll stay put. So that's the pack that I wear. So I got the bottles. Um, I love these Honey Singer waffles. I haven't tried the chocolate flavor. I just got a sample of this. I'm going to try this today. I usually get the vanilla or the honey. And they're really, really good. Um, and then I love these cliff blocks. So these are the shop blocks. And the, the Cran Raz is my favorite flavor. It's, they're so good. Um, husband loves margarita. They have orange, strawberry. There's maybe a mixed berry or something, but Cran Raz is the shit. That's the best one. You can buy these in a box like I buy. You can buy them in this bulk box here on Amazon. And, and they're actually organic. I didn't realize that. Um, so those are really good and they're like little, like they're like gummies. So you can eat three of them as a serving and then there's six in here, so there's two, but you can like split it out. You can just have like one, one mile and then two miles later have another one. So those are my two nutrition things. And then I had some peanut M&Ms left over from the marathon and I was like, or peanut butter M&Ms. I mean, sometimes it's just nice to have like a quick sugar <laughs> whenever you're like lagging. I'm having a lot of anxiety about this run because not feeling 100%. <laughs> allergies are really bad it's gloomy as fuck and I just feel like kind of stressed and strapped for time so I wanted to be like have something to pick me up if I need it so I always bring like a towel like this this is one of these like moisture wicking towels this is a free sample not free sample it was a free freebie from a race at some point and then I have my directions which I print out turn by turn direction or kind of turn by turn directions for the route which I plan and map my run so that's what I'm bringing with me. I also have my watch. I have the Garmin Instinct. It's the Garmin Instinct Solar in the orchid color. It's beautiful. And we have how many days? 17 days of battery life. Now that's not 17 days of GPS, but it's pretty fucking sweet for battery life. I got it because ultra marathon coming up. So that's what I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing my headphones and I'm going to head out, um, try a new route today. So I will tell you about that in a little bit. Okay, so it's about 9.35. I am heading out like a little bit later than I planned, but it took me a while to just make sure I had everything ready. Calm my anxiety. So I am gonna be trying a new route uh, on the Duck Hollow Trail, which I've never done before. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't have a podcast lined up, which I probably should, so we'll see. I might just start with music and go from there, but I will be, uh, I'll show you what we are running with. Housing plan down the hill from us. So 
I don't make enough money to be in this neighborhood, but here I am. So this is the end of that street, and we're gonna go down to what I believe is a trail down here. I'm not going to run this hill because it's very steep. That is the park road. So we have come out the other end of the tunnels here. These are the Squaho tunnels. We're coming onto this. I believe this is the connection here. I could be in somebody's yard. I don't really know, but let's see the. Make sure there's no snakes. Okay, we're good. There's the tunnels. Well, there's a tree blocking them, but that's Forward Avenue, or Commercial Road, rather. Forward Avenue is up here. This turns into commercial. And the park is over there, so that's where we're headed into the park. Um, I think it's a sign for something over there. So this is the parkway going east is that direction, and then it's going west into town there. Okay, can't really run very much of this right now. I feel like I'm in a drainage ditch. Uh, I hope this is connecting where it's supposed to connect, otherwise I'm fucked. <laughs> so I'll have to come back up this. This is why we do recon missions on our own on long runs before we bring anybody else into the equation. Okay, we're on to dirt now. <laughs> I think we're in the right place. We are out of drainage ditch territory, but that was pretty cool. It's beautiful. It's just like, look at that. It looks very scenic, but uh, mm, kind of a bitch to run on. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out right now. Hey, you. I hope they're not hurt. And that's why they're just sitting there. Is your friend hurt? Are they okay? Well, I'm gonna slowly approach. I don't want to like bother them, but if they are hurt, then I should call somebody, right? Hey, you okay? Everything cool? What's going on there, buddy? Castle. It looks so creepy when it's not fucking in season. Jesus. It's scary. And uh, here's the trail. This guy has a bag and he keeps stopping every so often to adjust something in the bag and then he picks the bag up again. And it's a little odd. And then back and forth and keep a distance because woman alone on a secluded trail, that whole cool thing, but uh, it's probably fine. Uh, just that I watch too many murder documentaries, you know. Look, there's the explorer ship from the science center, I think, right? Rivers of Steel, or is it Rivers of Steel against that? Whatever it is. So this is where it ends, all right? So here we are, pretty over here. But these are railroad tracks and it is blocked off here. There's the guy ahead of me went around this fence somewhere, so I guess you can. 
Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah, look. You definitely can. And it would connect into, get across the railroad tracks. But you can go down there. Someone left a tie here, which makes me think that someone was murdered over here. Uh, but you can go in there. You're not supposed to, but it appears many do. Because there was a cyclist ahead of me. Or who passed me, rather. And I was like, where the fuck did they go? So that must be it. So, technically, dead end. Let's see over here. Yeah. But I guess you can go across those railroad tracks. Oh, so here we go, right? Look. Three Rivers Heritage Trail, six miles from the point. But, see, he's just crossing the tracks. I don't know if you can see him. He's just crossing the tracks with his random blue bag of murder instruments, I suppose. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. I don't mind crossing the railroad tracks, but that's a number of them. <laughs> cool, so here we are. Okay, back up on a nine mile run here. We have a sign that says, caution active rock slide ahead trail closed, but it's not actually closed. I don't know. I'm around seven miles, I'm gonna call it. Start heading back early. I'm just, my head's not in it today. My body's not feeling really good. And I'm just gonna call it and try to get myself right when I get home. See if that helps. Ah, oh, man. I, I had a bad feeling going into this run that I wasn't really feeling up to it. And then last night it was like so fun, but it was very, very steep and a lot of steps climbing. And oh, so if you remember earlier, just to give you some perspective, see that little house up there? That gatehouse, that's where I was. I started, well, not started, but. I was like a mile or so in, so it is fucking beautiful out though. Like I just can't get enough of the sky. That should be putting me in a good mood, but I'm just not feeling 100%. And uh, I can't focus and get into a good rhythm right now. And that happens. And I think it's good that my big race is coming up <laughs> in a couple weeks and then I can take some time off on these longer pressure runs. Um, not that I don't love them, because I do, but when you have so many weeks in a row without a break, this is why we like taper and then take some time off after a marathon. Um, that's just where I am right now. It's okay. I think I have pretty much gotten past the point where this makes me really like, just sets me off for the whole day. Um, I'm pretty much at the point where I can accept my limits a little bit better. There was a time where that wasn't the case, but it's, it's still going to be a few miles before I'm home. I should probably be well over 10 by the time I'm home, but I'm going into Frick right now. I could just cut back up the way I came over, well, now you can't see there's a bunch of trees. I could just cut back the way I came over there, shorten a little bit, but... I'll go the more scenic route here through Frick and just head home. Hey everybody, it's Sunday night. My day, my day. I did end up calling the run early because I did not feel well. And I felt like, whoa, spooky lighting. <laughs> spooky, there we go. Um, yeah, I, I felt like it was better to just call it early than to keep pushing my body past where it was feeling good. So, and I said, oh, I'm not gonna get emotional about this and I'm gonna be really zen about it because grow up now and there was a moment I was just coming around fire lane trail over in Frick and I just started crying and I was like what the fuck like I don't know I don't like feeling like I can't achieve things that I set out to achieve when it comes to running um I mean I like 
cried for a minute and then I got over it and it was fine, but it's just very, I don't know. Last night's run was really difficult. Like those steps were insane. You saw that, like yeah. my body, it made sense that my body didn't feel good this morning. So um, in my, I just, I, I'm having a hard time on Sundays getting that long run in because I feel like I have so much else on my plate that day. Like, I was like, oh, I have to do laundry, and, like, I have to uh, do some chores around the house. Like, at least I didn't have cooking to do today, because we did, we have cooking done for uh, work the next few days, so we're good there. But, like, there's always just so much else waiting for me when I get back that I'm having a hard time mentally setting aside those, like, four or five hours for a really long run. And that was, like, the turning point for me in distance running a number of years ago was getting to a point where I felt like I was giving myself the time to put in the, the miles. I'm a slow runner and that's fine. And I have no problem with that and I don't mind it. And I also like today, like part of what I love about running is exploring the neighborhoods. And like, you know, today I wanted to see this new area and you know, it was a beautiful fucking day. So I wanted to take lots of pictures. Like, and that is fine. That is a part of my experience of running that I love and I don't want to change that. But the trade-off is that I am a slower runner and that does take more time whenever I do these like scenic, you know, photo document, uh, photo documentation runs. And that's part of, you know, part of what it is. And I have to have that time set aside. So I have to try to make a plan. I, I figured I'm in bed, it's um, 10, 15, it's 10, 13 right now. Um, I am, I have to film my plan with me in the morning. I did get my vlog up finally. Oh my God, it took me like several hours to edit my vlog. And I did work on my scrapbook. I said I was gonna do that today. I tried to set aside the time from two to 4 p.m. and I was just exhausted. And I was like working on my vlog and I was like, oh, I'm gonna finish this real fast. And I'm gonna work on my scrap. I fell asleep, <laughs> like working. I've, I've been sitting at my bed desk um, working on it on my laptop because it helps to stretch my leg out after a long run. And I've been doing that since I bought the desk a couple of months ago. Um, so yeah, so I have to, um, get back to that balance. I'm kind of looking forward to having a little bit of downtime between, uh, the big race and figuring out what I'm going to do for a fall race. I don't know if I'm going to do like a race, a marathon, or am I going to do another ultra or what I'm going to do, but I'm looking forward to having like a few weeks where I don't have to do more than a 10 miler. And that's what I did today. I did 10 miles. Um, 10 miles is like. I love 10 miles. I'll go out and do 10 miles any day. But beyond that, I guess up to 13 miles. Beyond 13, it's like, okay, that's a significant part of my day. Like, <clears throat> 13 I can knock out in three hours or less. <laughs> Anything beyond that, it's like, okay, four to five hours of my day, out for a run, you know, have to have that space um, so that I'm not distracted all the time. I just was not in a good headspace. And I came home and Try to stretch. I took my amino acids. I had some cherry bundy. That's another thing that I have not been doing very well about. I did really well with that when I was training for my first marathon. Always after a long run, having cherry bundy and then my amino acids. Um, cherry bundy, if you're not familiar with it, it's a tart cherry juice and it's supposed to be really good for inflammation and it's like an antioxidant kind of thing. Um, it's supposed to be great for muscle recovery. And I, I, you know, have drank it for years. I just drank like four ounces. You can drink eight ounces of a serving but I have like a little mini cup and I just stand there at the fridge pour it out put it back in the fridge <laughs> um I do think that helps and so I did that today so that's good and then I did stretch and had a big salad for dinner just trying to but this work week kicked my ass it really did so plan for tomorrow is get up plan, fill my plan with me um I don't know if I mentioned this the Ganey campaign reached out and they need drivers to do um some like election night stuff so I'm gonna do that on Tuesday which I'm like glad to help but I'm also like a little bit nervous about time of that so we'll see so tomorrow plan with me and um do my like regular morning routine before work and so I thought what I'm gonna do tonight um it's about 10 15 to try to get some sleep um, right now but in the meantime in the, like the next 15 minutes or so before I go to sleep I'm gonna try to just like in my Evernote app I don't know if anybody else uses that I use Evernote to write like notes and keep um, lists and things like that um, I'm gonna go through there and, and into there and 
me make a list of my, like the thing that I always have out on my desk whenever I fill my plan with these, I'm going to write that out tonight before I go to bed. And that, I think it'll help for me to have my week, like all my, you know, must do's and plan, you know, digital plan for the week written out before I fill my plan with me tomorrow. So it's a long video. <laughs> I'm going to head to bed now. Um, and as a result, I, I bounced back from feeling really down. I just, it makes me worried and it makes me feel bad about myself and it's just complicated, but I think I, I made it through. But I don't know where the day went. Like, I really don't. Like, my hours, I feel like it was like 1.30 and I was like, I have the whole day ahead of me. And then I blinked and it was 6.30, so... I have those days and my Sundays off during my work stretch are usually like that and this week and the last time even more because we've been so 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 busy at work so signing off for the night we'll check in tomorrow good morning having a hell of a time getting started this morning but look at that sunrise damn Look at that sunset. We had a nice beautiful sunrise and a nice beautiful sunset. And this is why Pittsburgh is baller in the summer. I love the desert, but Pittsburgh gets the best fucking sunsets and sunrises. Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday morning. Yesterday kicked my ass so bad. So much. It was probably the most stressful day I've had since the pandemic started early days of the pandemic were really, really stressful at work because we were so busy and we were like worried about keeping ourselves safe and our patients safe and everything. And um, yesterday was like very, very tons and tons of vaccinations, which is awesome. I'm so glad, but I didn't have any help today. I have a uh, vaccinator from one to five helping me. Um, so that's good. And she's awesome. So tech that I know from another store and I'm super happy that she'll be there. So that should help a little bit, but y'all, I am just fucking spent and this morning I was like I'm gonna get up and do all these things and I just like laid there in bed like like trying to fucking wake up enough to get out of bed I'm out of bed now I am working on editing my plan with me which I meant to do last night like literally last night this is what happened I came home from work and I was like okay I'm gonna edit this plan with me I'm gonna do my workout and then we're gonna go and get dinner I literally went upstairs to change into my workout clothes and like lay down on the bed and just like was texting my friend Christy for like an hour and not doing anything. And husband actually came upstairs and fell asleep and he does not, he's not a napper. He doesn't take naps and he came upstairs and fell asleep because he had a rough day too. And I was like, the fuck is going on? So needless to say, I just like, my body is tired. My muscles ache. I'm just like, I feel like Something's not right right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm supposed to do this pole, I don't know, it's not pole watching, it's like um, be a pole point person tonight for the Ganey campaign. Um, I haven't heard any updates about where they want me to go. I have to be there, they said, by 7.30. So I'm like, probably should work out this morning before work. The day of lift four that I'm on is one of the 39 minute days and I don't want to do 39 minutes. I just want to do 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm like, mm, but I don't really want to do a Peloton ride because my fucking legs are shot. So I'm like, just what I want to do is sit quietly and not talk to any other humans for at least 12 hours. That's what I want to do, but it's not a thing. So I'm going to try, I, I am editing my plan with me. It's, it's probably going to go up on Wednesday. I don't even fucking know. I, I got to get some semblance of my life back on track this off rotation so we'll see it's just been really 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 busy and i'm not keeping up i mean i'm keeping up with it at work like but it's like when you have to go that high level intensity at work every day then like at home is like just suffers so that's where we are right now i'm just checking in to say that i'm struggling a whole lot so much. Oh god, this feels really good though. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. I'm gonna do the things. I'm gonna do the things. All right, we decided to go vote this morning. I guess we're both having nervous energy about it. So, time to go vote for Ed Ganey. 
Hey everybody, Fox from the future here, editing this video. Uh, it was a very abrupt ending to my week. Uh, I had a bit of a health scare on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I had my blood pressure, I was started having back spasms and my blood pressure spiked. I was like having a lot of worrisome symptoms. I ended up going to my doctor that night and she thinks it was just stress and anxiety all together. Um, so now I am monitoring my blood pressure twice a day, trying to just relax when I can, and it's not, y'all know me, y'all know that that is not going well to relaxing when I can. So anyway, I will close out the vlog here. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't film any more that day. We did vote, and Ed Ganey won, so he is the, technically somebody could run against him in November in the general election, but it's not happened since 1937 or something like that in Pittsburgh that there has been like a Republican candidate that ever won. So, um, yeah, theoretically, unless something terrible happens and changes, Ed Ganey will be our next mayor of Pittsburgh. And that's so exciting. I'm so happy. So that was, yeah, Tuesday night and uh, going to the doctor, not feeling good, blood pressure being really high. But then the good news and of Ed Ganey winning and yeah, it's been a week. So um, this is obviously going up way later than intended because I'm just having a rough time just keeping up with all of my stuff outside of work. <laughs> As I mentioned in the earlier video that you just saw, um, when things are really, really high intensity at work, then the things at home are the things that struggle and suffer and it's kind of where we are now. So. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I do at least two videos a week and I appreciate everybody watching, commenting, liking the videos, subscribing, all of that. So everybody, I know things are hard. I know even though it's exciting that things are starting to get back to normal, it's still really stressful right now. So please, as always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video.